Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Sunday the 26th of May 2024. I hope you are enjoying your weekend, keeping well, keeping as healthy as you possibly can. I'm still waiting for the, the hospital, animal hospital to call me and say come and collect your cat. Joni's been in there for several hours um, and uh, it's kind of uh, taking a long time. Um, but... Uh, can't do anything except wait so I figure I better play this game while I'm waiting I've been delaying it putting it off thinking I'm gonna go to the hospital soon but um, no can't wait any longer so uh, let's get on with this game because um, I'll be busy working this evening uh, right I can see the first thing that, this is New York Times hard level puzzle before I, before I begin I forgot to say something uh, I spent the 80s um, uh, shouting along with thousands of other people, Maggie, 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 out, out, out. Now, I'm not sure that it actually worked. It didn't really work, but it at least made us feel better and at least gave the Tories some signal of, you know, the the, the uh, feeling against them. Uh, but Donald Trump has never faced this. I, I've never been able to understand Americans. I guess they revere their president. They make this big fuss about, oh, they, 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 they're not a monarchy. They don't have a king, but they seem to give more reverence to their um, their their president than 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 uh, um, monarchies actually give to their monarch reigning monarch certainly in the UK anyway um, so I've never been un able to understand why there aren't millions of Americans out demonstrating everywhere Trump goes they should be you know uh, with a huge population they should be out shouting at him because there's nothing that could be better to embarrass Trump and to make him feel bad is his personal abuse because you know even it will be even worse than prison for him you know because he is a, obviously a narcissist he's very thin-skinned he can't take any criticism whatsoever so I'm really surprised that people the Americans don't just turn up in their thousands wherever he is and shout you know abuse at him maybe the police would shoot them I suppose there's always the insanity of the US police but anyway I, I've just never been able to understand their way of thinking um, but uh, apparently there are some people willing to do that. Uh, this is the Libertarians. He went to give a speech at the Libertarian Convention or something. Yes, that bunch of nut jobs. <laughs> uh, I have some sympathy with Libertarians' social views, but not about their, you know, let's not have any government whatsoever. Uh, let's not have any roads, presumably, any public libraries, any health service, anything actually from government. Uh, they're quite crazy and uh, nasty people as well so uh but anyway they did manage to heckle apparently and boo trump when he was on stage so there we are perhaps it will set a trend you never know your luck america uh the thing that i noticed before i see anything else is that one and seven block across here nice easy new york times style thing to see so i've got one and seven in those squares i don't know if it means anything but i do know that's a one and a seven and so that means this is going to be four, five, eight, I think. So we got fives there, we got eights there, and we got fours anyway. Oh. So does it mean anything? There's eights there. Oh, oh, actually, we've got eights down here anyway. Let's do that easy number. Well, I don't think that meant anything, but I will try and remember it because it might mean something later on. nine blocking these two squares and nine blocking that square there so Ah, I wasn't looking at the nines. I should, because they're going to give me a nice easy number up there. That will teach me to not be observing what I'm supposed to be looking at. The nine down here and nine across there, we'll put nines into those squares. Across, across, down and down, so we'll get a nine there.
I've suddenly realised I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm going to finish this game. I have discovered something else. I've discovered that ones are in those squares. don't know anything else about them so let's go through the digits I think um, might save some time I do know quite a lot. As I said, ones I know are in these squares. So we've got ones down there. And obviously the one seven in there. And ones up there. So there's that. Twos are in those squares. Somewhere down there. Oh, we've got two five blocking this square. We've got two five. Pl oh no, that's not going to help. <laughs> Any, anything else? Yes, no. Two five and three. I've got three in this row already. What else is missing? Four seven. Four two five four seven one. Four seven one. No one can be in that square. Forget that. Six blocking up there, six going up and put six into one of those squares so six will be in that square there. We are left down here with four and two, two across there. There's our two, there's our four.
There might be some matching pairs there, but I just didn't see them. Uh, I'm not spotting anything super easy and I'm not in a particularly great Sudoku mood so I think I'm gonna switch to pencil marks in just a second Oh, hang on, we've got 195 down here, so we've got 195 in those squares, haven't we? There's a triple. 195 blocking down there, so that's 195. Nines are there, ones and fives anyway. So, 195, so this is going to be 4, 6, 7. Come on, be something. 4, 6, 7, let's see. 4s. don't know sixes don't know sevens don't know hmm. uh, we should just check these quickly so four six seven so this is going to be two ah Two, three. Oh yes, it is something because we've got two and three blocking here. Four, six, seven. So two and three are going to be in those squares, and this is going to be whatever the other number is. I can't work out. Four, six, seven. So this is eight. Okay. So eight across here and eight up here puts eight into one of those squares, blocking across, blocking across here. There's an eight. seven back this way put seven into one of those squares blocking across we know this is seven then that's going to be one because we have one seven in those squares didn't we okay we're left here with one and two two up there there's our two there's our one one to the bottom here one to the bottom there there's our one i already said i knew that ones were in those squares there so nothing changed there Uh, we've got one blocking both of those squares. Then we got one up there, so that will be our one. Missing numbers in this row are two, four, and seven. We got two and seven together. That's going to be our four then. And we oh, forget. Four is one of those squares there blocking across four down. There's our four. Nine blocking both of those squares will give me a nine here. Nine across here, nine up there, there's a nine. Uh, we can get this, can't we? Just got to work out what goes there. That's five and, no, it's not, it's seven and six. Uh, any help? Yes, six blocking up there, there's the six, there's the seven, and now we can say what goes there is a two. Two blocking this square, so in that top row there's our two, and this will be a seven. So 
Still don't have any completed digits yet, but I can see a one blocking down here and here and across there. So that's another step closer. Two's blocking down like so and across there. Two up here and up there. Two across there, two up there. Ah, now I think we're getting somewhere. I think we're actually making a dent. That's our first completed digit. Three blocking up here, so three in one of those squares blocking down. That must be our three, and this will be our six. down there I knew it had to be like at least one digit with just one more to go that was the nine there uh, and we can work out this because we know what goes there now I did work it out a long time ago but I've now forgotten uh, but it's a f I can see the five blocking down there so there we go five so from this column we're still looking for four and six no help from across here and here we're looking for five and something then no that can't be right this is five and six not four I've got four up there sorry five and six up there lucky I almost messed it up again so this is gonna be uh, three and eight I think three and eight in those squares no help from anywhere oh all right no help don't be like that then don't give me any help see if I care Four. I wasn't I was looking at other things again four across there there's the four if you're wondering why it took a long time to see it because I wasn't looking at four so just because I highlight a number it doesn't always mean that I'm looking at that I know that's confusing for viewers but anyway that's just how it is four across here four across there there's our four we need a seven at the end of this row I think seven blocking up there and there so there's our seven and one across here will give me a one in that square one to the bottom and one across there there's our one and that's finished three we need a three for this block here three across there and three up there we'll put three into that square uh, five blocks across here so there's a five we can add and I just realized we need one more number to get this what's that a three is it Okay, so three across there and three down there. There's a three. That's the last three. There's one number to go here. Uh, I think that's an eight. So we'll put that in. We also have eight blocking here. So there's an eight. And we have eight blocking up here. So that's an eight there. And the missing digit here, six. Six blocking to the bottom. Here's the six. Six across there. There's a six. Uh, we haven't finished sixes because we've got one to go there. Now we've got one number to go here, which is a seven. Seven blocking across there, giving us seven in that square. We will finish with a five. So I didn't need pencil marks after all. I was about to change, but just caught that triple just in the nick of time. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.